and uh, we're on the 560 XT. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the boat. Up front, we've got an electric motor mount, stainless steel bow roller up there, nice big anchor hatch, a couple anchors in here from where we went to Fraser. Um, this particular boat is fitted with the small cast platform. So we've got a heap of stuff in here at the moment. We've got fenders and snorkeling gear and buckets and fishing gear and then on this side we've got life jackets and all sorts of stuff these cast platforms all have a non-slip slip texture to the top of them and they're fully fiberglassed in and they're all molded so they're absolutely beautiful um up the front recessed cleats on both sides all 316 again Nice non-slip on top of the deck, non-slip on the floor down here. Beautiful floors, these are, you just toes them out when you get back from your day out fishing. Um, this boat's got nav lights, part of your base electrics package. And then we've got the large console. Um, coming down the side, we've got a side pocket, a spear gun in here. Um, just to show you the size of it. These are all fully fiber glassed on, so you can stand on these, which I've done before. Um, up in the back here, oh, up and under the gunnel, you notice there's no light. Our boats are fully fiberglassed together. They're uh, super tough. Um, same with the console, same with the cast deck. Everything's fiberglass. There's no screws in our boats. Down here, we've got rod holders. These are the heavy duty ones that are all welded. Oh, really nice. Uh, battery isolated switch all recessed in. Really nice. Um, then down here, we've got the bait tanks, one on each side. One on this side. Uh, transom step, non-slip in the handle. Recess fuel filler, breathers for your fuel tank. And then this boat's party piece, the 200. It's insane. It's a just under a 50 knot boat at the moment with this 18 pitch prop on it. We're going to a 19, so even bigger. Uh, yeah, 200 horsepower rating. It's insane. This is um, the first XT performance pack boat. Um, so you can buy one of these with a 200 horsepower rating. Um, I'll touch on that a bit further. Um, once we get into it, I'll show you the console. So this is the large console. Got a 12 inch Simrad mounted here. Yamaha LC5 gauge, binnacle control, Benito switch panel, hydro, hydraulic steering. And then the console, it's pretty neat and tidy in here. Fully fiberglass, so it's super solid. The console does not move part of the boat the whole boat's one solid chunk of fiberglass um, and then here we have got the dolphin pro 2 leaning seat so we offer these now as an option even if you want to buy one put on your boat now aftermarket we can do that and we can help install it as well if you'd like so you can do the one without the, the rocket uh, the rocket launchers on the back or you can do a backrest uh, we just stopped it for the rocket launchers for more rod storage out the way really quick Alrighty, so um, yeah, we'll see you out on the water. We're heading out now. Um, beautiful day down here at Shoncliffe. Um, looking forward to it. This boat's an absolute blast to drive. It's a driver's boat, this one, without a doubt. Um, it's awesome fun. Doing a test run day next Saturday down here at Shoncliffe, I think. So um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, sanded on every boat as well. 
is your grab rail and your windscreen. I love the grab rail, it's a really nice feature. Great to hold on to. Alrighty, we're just heading out now. Yeah. It's insanely fun. <laughs> Can't wait. Love this boat so much. So you'll notice here on the back of this particular Benito, um, it's fitted with a 200 Yamaha. So to fit a 200 to a Benito, we've added a heap more glass to the boat and filled the running strokes. So what we've done is we've added an extra woven roving pass to the base of the hull. And then we have added a, an additional double bias pass across the transom. And then on top of that, we've added another double bias pass to the trans, uh, to you to your corners and then through the base of the hull where the hull, base of the hull joins to the transom. So you got a heap more fiberglass, a lot more cloth layers, which give it, which is where your strength is. And then we filled the running strikes as well. The, the hull is completely foam filled. Um, what else have we done today? Um, obviously a standard thermolite transom, so no rot ever. Um, same with the floors, they're all composite. There's no structural timber in the boats. Um, this is just a really solid, super dense 560 essentially. So um, that gives you your 200 horsepower rating. And to do that, we have to you have to option the 560 XT performance pack. Essentially, yeah, just basically everything is just done even more to the max um, to handle. Well, we think a standard 560 would be able to handle the 200, but um, we want to make sure that the boats. Uh, super strong, as strong as we can possibly make them without obviously adding too much weight. Um, this boat is heavier than a standard 560. Um, just going to do a final weight of this boat now that the motor is fitted um, with some fuel in it, um, which I will be updating these very soon about. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.